Welcome to another Who Are We episode. My name is Catrice Roots, the creator of this Who Are We series. Look at the shirt. Who are we? That's the shirt. Feel free to get yourself one. Link is in the description down below. Today we are talking about Queen Zynga. So roll that intro and I'll be right back. Alright, so Queen Zynga. Oh my gosh, this research process was a lot because there's so much stuff on Queen Zynga. I was, I had way more written down uh, at first, so I had to figure out how to compress it into a five to ten minute video because what I was about to do was about to take a whole hour. Let's get into this. Alright, so Queen Zynga, she was queen of the Ndongo and Matamba uh, area, which is also now known as modern day Angola. Uh, her name means to twist and turn, which is in reference to when she was born. She was born with the umbilical cord wrapped around her neck. Wow. Uh, yeah. But anyway, she was born with the umbilical cord wrapped around her neck. And a wise woman in her tribe had said she's going to grow up to become brave, courageous, a brave, courageous uh, queen. So, and by the way, whenever you hear me say wise woman, uh... In future videos based on like African history, that just pretty much means like a elder person in your family, like someone that is older, old, elderly. But I like the way how Africans say it more. Like they say they say wise because that means you've lived a long time to gain information. So moving on. So yeah, wise woman. Um. Anyway, she since she was the only girl. Um. She didn't come off as like competition to her brothers, like as competition to be the heir to the throne after their father passed away. So with that being said, her father took out a lot of time with her and taught her how to, they trained her how to be a warrior uh, and fight amongst her father and her brothers. Also her father took out time with her and used to bring her to war council meetings, regular council meetings and rituals and stuff like that. So. She knew how to handle business once she got older. And on top of that, her father uh, let Portuguese missionaries teach her how to read and write in Portuguese. So she was also bilingual. So she really knew how to handle business. And unfortunately, in the future, years down the line, her father passes away and her brother and Bondi came to the throne, like took over the throne. And when her brother and Bondi took over the throne, when her brother and Bondi took over the throne, her brother was jealous of how her and her father were so close, I guess. And this is why it does not pay to be jealous. It's like, why? Why would you do this? What I'm about to say now. Her brother and Bondi, once he took over the throne, he sterilized Queen Zynga and her younger sister. Um, well, at that time, Zynga and her younger sister, so there would be no potential threat to his power. And Like, you think you're just going to live forever. What? Man. And anyways, and on top of that, he killed her son that was already here. Like, killed him. You know, he was just a baby. Killed him and sterilized her so she wouldn't have any future kids to take over his power or throne or whatever. <sighs> See, this is this why... This, if, don't don't be jealous. Just don't be jealous. It turns you into a demon. Anyways, um, so anyways, after that happened, that really changed Zynga into a more, you know what I'm saying? Just more about it. More about, you know, just more, uh, like, aggressive, I guess you could say. Um, still a loving person, but after that, it really opened up her eyes to how cruel this world can be. This made... Uh, Zynga and her husband moved to the Matamba area because before that they were in the Ndongo area so now they're in the Matamba area. Um, since uh, since Mbondi failed failed to do correct business with the Portuguese and stuff like that and trying to defend his people he realized he was like oh snap I'm gonna have to get my sister Zynga to like come over here and get this business done and and help our people and so that's exactly what he did 
and he apologized and he begged her to come back and help him. And the only reason why she came back was to help her people. It was not for him. It was trifling, jealous self, demonic. Anyways, um, with that being said, uh, she took the position to help her people on top of that she spoke fluent Portuguese that's where that comes in handy Zynga however Zynga demanded that her brother give her a royal title a huge entourage and array her like a queen um and that's where that queen title starts to gradually come in uh and also when she would go to uh to meetings like to these council meetings and stuff like that most Africans will wear European, like lavish European clothing, but Zingo's like, nah, uh-uh, what y'all doing? What are y'all doing? Like, stop wearing their clothes, like wear our own lavish clothes, and that's exactly what she did. She wore the most lavish African clothes to these European council meetings, meeting up with the Portuguese and stuff, handling business. So, you know, she took pride in her own culture, which more of us need to do now. Um, also, while attending the meeting, the Portuguese king did not provide her a seat. He had a chair, but she didn't have a chair. And it was to make her look inferior. And she was like, uh-uh, no, what you, you think, you think you're going to get at me? You think you're going to get at me, buddy, by making me look? No, she literally ordered one of her servants to get on all fours. And she sat down and used her servant as a chair. What? Inferior what? I don't think so. I'm wearing all this lavish African clothing and I got my servant as a chair. What? Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm getting really into this. Um, <laughs> um, anyways, uh, and Zynga brother, like once in Zynga successfully at that time, uh, cause this, this was an ongoing problem with, uh, the African people and the Portuguese, you know, um, Portuguese always, Portuguese colonists always trying to enslave Africans at that time. Um, however, at this particular moment, after she successfully handled business, uh, with the Portuguese and, um, and, you know, saved her people from being enslaved at that moment in time, um, her brother, she came back home and her, and she publicly dissed, put her brother on the spot of all the wrong stuff he did to her in the past. And like, after that, either he committed suicide, but also some research says that she ordered him to be murdered just in revenge to uh, having her son killed and also getting her and her sister sterilized, which honestly, I don't blame her um, if that did happen. But also some people say that he drunk poison and committed suicide because he was like, felt so guilty and bad and ashamed. Uh, so either way, he died, got him out of the way. And after he, <laughs> after he died, uh, she took the throne and was officially crowned Queen Zynga. So, <clears throat> all right. Um, over the years, she continued to uh, defend her people uh, from the Portuguese, uh, trying to you know colonize them and enslave them. Um, and and then you know years later. Queen Zynga peacefully passed away in her 80s on December 17th, 1663. See my nails? I got my nails done for my birthday. It matches my shirt. And the background is gold and glitter. Anyways. Ah! Sorry, I'm just so excited. Like that is a good ending to a to a to a to a story. I mean to like this real life, but to to history episode. Who are we? You know? Like man. Mm. Mm. Man, I'm sorry. I just I just got so excited. But that is the history of Queen Zynga. You know, she you know, she, she was the last person, the last person, the last person to defend her people from the Portuguese colonists in Africa. Or probably in that particular part of Africa. Yeah. Yeah. Then after that, 
everybody got enslaved pretty much in that area. Um, but she was the last person, though, <sighs> that, could, that, that could successfully do it, you know. Um, I was, I'm sorry, I'm just so excited. Anyways, guys, look up Queen Zinga. Um, I have it spelled in the, in the video somewhere. Um, look her up. I got the sources in the description down below to, so you can, you know, start off somewhere. Then after that, go and look up your own stuff. It's so much history on her. Oh my gosh, it's so much stuff. And it's all interesting. It's all juicy. It's all juicy, you know. And, and I like it. Man. Ah, oh, Lord. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. All right, guys. I will see you guys in another episode. Hopefully, this one won't take as long with the research process and everything. Uh, also, I had to celebrate my birthday. So, my birthday was on September 9th. And uh, uh, thank you guys for everything. Uh, thank you, all the family and friends that... Uh, sent me birthday wishes and gifts and stuff so thank you guys um and i'm out of here i will see you guys soon on another who are we episode <sighs> for our people queen zinka what yes